In this video, we have to graph the function h of x equals negative parentheses x plus 4 quantity squared. So the first thing to notice is that this is a transformation of the graph of y equals x squared. So if you remember, y equals x squared looks like a u. This is y equals x squared. And then when we add um, a number to the x, you think it's right, but no, no, it's backwards. It's left 4. And then the negative sign is outside. It's in front of the entire function. So it's in front of the y. So we reflect across the x-axis. So you always reflect across uh, the other axis. So it's on the outside, so you reflect across the x-axis. But That's because it's in front of the y. Okay, so we're taking this graph here, and we're shifting it left 4 and flipping it across the x-axis. So the final picture should look something like this. 1, 2, 3, 4, and then it's just like an upside-down U. So it should look something like that. All right, let's go ahead and try to do this using the graphing tool. So I'm going to come over here and it says click to enlarge graph, and then I'll click the U. And then it says, click the graph to plot your curve. So we need a point. So I'm going to go uh, right here, left 4. So negative 4, comma 0. You see in the top right, it says negative 4, comma 0. The point always shows up here. See, right now we're at 10, comma 5. Anyways, we want to be at negative 4, 0. So I'm going to click that. And then it says, uh, vertical stretching or shrinking, horizontal stretching or shrinking. So we're not doing any of that. We're just going left 4. So when we go left and right, that's a horizontal shift, so I'm going to put a negative 4 here, and then we're reflecting over the x-axis, so I'm going to check this box here, okay? Let's click Save, and there it is, and check Answer, and that's it. I hope this video made sense.